Okay, so welcome to my roof. And what we're looking at here is some roof integrated uh, solar tiles. Ever since I was, I guess, something like 12 years old, uh, I had an interest in energy and uh, solar panels. I was a little geek, geek child. And uh, when I grew up, I thought, well, when I buy a house, eventually I'll uh, make it solar powered. And this is the result. We've got about nine kilowatts uh, across the entire roof surface here. The idea with these roof tiles is that they actually blend in to the, the roof. The, the roof is effectively made out of them. So I've had people not realise these are solar tiles and ask me, is that slate on your roof? So it basically looks like a natural part of the roof. It just blends in. And that's the big difference. Other than that, um, they work just the same way as the solar panel. They produce electricity just as well. They just look a little prettier. Another advantage of the tiles is um, the neighbours like them. If you uh, live in an area where the planning permits are really tight, then no one's going to object to having a roof that looks this pretty. All my friends and the neighbours uh, think it's great. Now we're on the uh, top roof. These were very quick to install. The contractor was in and out in a day. Um, they take up pretty much the entire roof space. They're a bit cheaper to install than the uh, ones on the front. Another good thing about solar panels is unlike your car, there's basically no maintenance. If you really want, you could clean them maybe once or twice a year, but you don't need to clean them. Uh, they're, they're st they still produce very well. There's no moving parts. There's very little to go wrong. The benefits of uh, having solar panels have been that basically my electricity bill has come down to $5 a month and at the end of the year they actually send me a cheque back because uh, now I actually generate a small excess of electricity. So that's one benefit. The other benefit is that uh, I'm basically using carbon free electricity. So rather than burning lots of coal or oil and pumping uh, carbon emissions into the atmosphere, the uh, electricity from this is effectively clean, no emissions. So doing, uh, doing my bit to try and help the environment while still living comfortably. Something some people ask me is when your house is powered with solar, do you have to change the way you live? And my answer to that is, no, you don't have to, but it makes you think a little more. And you just think about turning the lights off when you don't need them, unplugging uh, battery chargers when you don't need them, setting your computer to hibernate or sleep rather than just leaving it on. Living in a house that's solar powered, other than making you think a little more, is just the same as living in a normal house. I actually did an audit of every electrical device that was plugged in. I got a little device called a kilowatt, and they're a little device about $25. You can plug it into the wall, and then you plug in the device that you want to test. The best things to test are the devices that you just leave plugged in all the day. And I actually found that piece of computer equipment I had was using about 100 watts continuously, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. I worked out how much that was going to cost me a year in electricity. It was $170 if I was still paying LIPA. So I decided that the piece of equipment only cost about 150 to replace it with a new piece of equipment. In that case, it was definitely worth replacing. You could even turn around and uh, have solar hot water heating if you want as well. And I've got a solar thermal panel down there to uh, heat the hot water as well. Another thing you could do is you could install a solar powered clothes dryer. Now, what is that, you ask? It's very simple to operate, very simple to install. A rope, a clothesline between two fixed points and a shirt to hang on it. Done. That will save a lot of energy too. And your clothes will smell fresher. Down there is a pool. The pool pump for it I replaced with a variable speed pool pump. And LIPA actually they were giving $200 rebates on pool pumps. The result was I saved about 75% of the energy compared with the older pool pump. Another upgrade I've done in this home is I replaced the oil furnace, which just guzzled oil, thousands of dollars of oil a year, and replaced it with this thing. This is a geothermal heat pump. And what that does is basically it sucks heat out of the ground in winter and pumps the heat into the house. It rather works like an air conditioner in reverse. And in summer, if you need it, it'll also work as a whole house air conditioner. And then this is of course powered by electricity. And where do I get my electricity from? 
the solar panels on the roof. So that's one of the ways I've got to uh, end up with net zero energy. There's no oil used here, no gas, no fossil fuels. All the heating comes from the geothermal system, which is powered from the electricity from the solar. So, in my basement is something called an energy recovery ventilator. What this does is it allows uh, the building to be ventilated without sucking in cold air in winter. And what it does is it brings in fresh air from the outside and it passes it through a piece of material in the centre, a heat exchanger, and it also sucks warm air from outside of the house and it uses that warm air to preheat the cold air coming in in winter. And it does the reverse in summer. So the idea is that in winter, you'd still need ventilation, especially if you've really insulated and sealed your home tightly with uh, spray foam. But you don't want to just open the windows and bring in lots of cold air. So you have one of these devices to bring in fresh air that's preheated using the exhaust from the stale air. And the house just feels so much better uh, when it's well ventilated. Okay, so you've seen my house now. And I've talked a lot about solar and I've talked quite a bit about uh, insulating the house. Now, one of the best ways uh, of finding out how to insulate your house better is to call a Home Performance with Energy Star Auditor. And again, there's even some uh, LIPA rebates for that and some federal tax credits available uh, if you uh, improve your insulation. And if you go to sunshineisfree.org, you can find out more about adding solar power to your home as well.